Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I'd like to humbly welcome you back to The Legend of Zelda and the Curious Case of the Lovely Deja Vu in Ikana Canyon, featuring Majora's Mask. You guys, welcome back. Um, so previously, we had just infiltrated the ancient castle of Ikana and thusly towed off against the great king himself and his two incompetent lackeys. Um, and upon defeating them in very strange fashions, we were able to ascertain that in order to enter Stone Tower Temple, uh, all you need to really do is have soldiers of darkness on your side, and all will be well in the world. Or so they think. So they taught us a song called the Elegy of Emptiness, and this allows us to create, you know, soldiers without souls, and it seems like they might have been taking a... I don't know, a leaf out of the killer's book there, even though this predates that about five years. And now we can just have just random statues of our dead lifeless bodies just hanging around. So that's good business. Um, so here's the way to Stone Tower, and I didn't really bring much note to this structure here, but this is really kind of interesting. Um, a lot of Iconic Canyon's just like structures and architects are really kind of interesting because you look at this and you're like, holy shit, that would be so cool to see in real life. But also the fact that he is, um, he's admiring us by allowing us to climb up his tongue while covering his crotch area into his mouth. It's very inviting, if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and re-enter the path to Stone Tower. And I said it once, but I'll say it again. I actually really am into this place. Like, look at it. Look at this endless pit and then this giant architect of just stone and the music while it is eerie is also really catchy and just oh I really love it but whoops don't want to take a picture of that so yeah I'm into this place and I dig it um, but the thing that is kind of annoying about this particular area is that it kind of has to deal with block puzzles yeah more block puzzles and switches so what we need to do is play around with the elegy of emptiness and create many soldiers of the undead to stay on these platforms here so that we can continue our ascent it's going to be good business but by the end of this you're going to be so sick of the elegy of emptiness it's not even funny so there's our undead child friend just waiting there with the Shigeru Miyamoto face. Nice, beautiful. And we can just continue on our merry way. Now, while we can make soldiers of the undead with every single one of our characters, uh, you can't do one for the Deku Scrub and have it mean anything because um, he's not heavy enough to step on a switch. So I'm going to go ahead and toss you over there because we've got ourselves Beemoses, or Beemai. And they, for whatever reason, have floating heads. It's all in good business and fun, but <laughs> it's kind of strange. So let's go switch on over to Mikau and activate our next switch. Now we never have to deal with more than three at a time, so we really lucked out that, you know, we had three transformation masks, but still. And there we go. The Elegy of Emptiness is really easy for me to remember because it reminds me of the Scarecrow song that we did a while back, so that's good stuff. Anyways, uh, for the undead corpse of our guitarist here, Look at this. Look at look at how insensitive this looks. Mikau is appalled that they would allow a dead corpse of Azor to be waiting here. I don't know. It's kind of creepy though, if you ask me. I I uh, it's weird. Okay, so let's continue on. And another reason why I don't know. This is gonna be a short video, and that's mostly just gonna be because I don't want to start Stone Tower Temple immediately. It will take a little bit to get up there, but in all honesty. This isn't going to be a long video because I'm actually going to be heading off to Europe the day after next and I won't have time to render out everything that I want to do. So I'm just going to finish this up and then call it good. If I'm feeling a little ballsy, I might actually record Stone Tower Temple, but there's no way in physical time I will be able to like render it out because it takes like six hours for each episode. Oh, and by the way, the uh, body of an of a oops of a Goron here, a dead Goron hero. Yeah, insensitive if I do say so myself. Also, I can hear a stupid Gwei coming. Where you at, man? Where you at? You want to go, bro? Oops, didn't even want to do that. My bad. So yeah, also the editing in this is going to be hell. So if I get lazy at some point, I apologize. It it takes me probably two hours to edit two ep or ten minutes accurately without mistakes as I did so many times in Great Bay Temple. By God, that was annoying. 
Oh, and also we've got Gossip Stones. Nice. We'll use those for later. Actually, I think they just give you hints on what to do in this particular area. It's kind of funny that how sassy they are. <laughs> Okay, so that last series of switches were pretty easy. All we had to do was one, two, three, and now here we have to do something a little bit different. There's our first switch. Let us skip it and head up here. And this, I don't like dealing with the Beamoses because when you're throwing a bomb, you have to get a head start, and it's just kind of annoying. And also, you just have to like, if you don't drop it, then there. Nothing? Oh, <laughs> oh it's the night of the second day. Will we even have enough time to do it? I might have to restart time if we don't. Okay, we're a little too far there. Here. So he's gonna shoot bombs or beams at us, and why does that happen? Why does that happen? <laughs> okay. So look at look at those. Those look like fetuses. Ever since I was a child, I thought those were like like borderline fetuses, right? I don't know, but it just looks creepy that those things are there. And there's absolutely no backstory to this area whatsoever. Nintendo has given out close to no information about why this place exists in game or otherwise it's just kind of uh, I don't know it's weird okay so we're gonna drop down here oh and we'll switch back to Mr. Zora Mikau there we go now you see how they're going along a predetermined path if something is not in the right order it'll get caught and then you won't be able to finish the puzzle because you know it has to be where it is and that is kind of a sweet pose man there we go so, yeah. I could cut this, but what's the point of that? I mean, all we're gonna do is get to the top of the tower, talk a little bit about certain things. Welcome to August 29th, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit, I'm going to be in Europe in two days. <laughs> I guess technically three days, because we're not getting there until the first. And, woo! And so, yeah. Uh, videos have all been scheduled until, I think, at least the 16th or 17th of September. I just finished up recording Bioshock 2. So that's actually really exciting as well, because that was a long time coming. And, by God, there were so many reasons why that was failing, mostly because I have a faulty disc and it glitched out the game so badly that I just, I, there was nothing I could do about it. So I tried requesting a, uh, uh, a new game. And by requesting, I mean I bought a new game on eBay. And that one worked even worse, so... Yeah, I just ended up sticking with my old disc, and somehow it pulled through for me. So, and hopefully it didn't have anything to do with the frame rate drop, so... I don't know. Because I had that locked. Wait, did I mess up? Oh, shit! I did the wrong thing! That was... Oh, god, I switched to Zora. God damn, that's what I get for talking. Okay, so this is why you have to do things in the correct order, because if you don't... You're gonna goof up, and uh, everything's gonna suck. However, everything is okay right now, because I can just do this. Here we go. Okay. I don't know why I did the Zora twice in a row, but here. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. Audio sync. <laughs> what is this, stretch mo? Oh, also, I should probably mention this. We can skip this animation of you turning into that, and yeah, there we go. Or wait, is that not right? What did I mess up this? What the hell is going on here? Is it gonna tell me I messed up? No, it's right. Wait, is there? Okay, this. The way the 3DS sets up its cutscenes is really, really weird. Um, so, oh god, I just got impaled-ish by a stupid thing. Now make sure you don't fall off, because if you do, there, it's you're going to have a bad time. You have to start all the way over, and I don't even know if we're going to have enough time in the day to finish off Stone Tower on the third and final day. I mean, we could try. There's no harm in that, because... It's kind of a simple temple, but anyway. Oh, check it out. There's actually a thing we can do over there. Uh, also, dead things? There we go. <laughs> also, I made a new Scarecrow song. Apparently, anytime you redo time, uh, your Scarecrow song starts over, which is annoying as hell. Where are those coming from? Do you hear that? What are you doing? No! You're not supposed to be here! Okay, you know what? Uh, not what I wanted to do. Uh, map. Masks. I lost my thing again, so... Let's go with the Skulkita mask. And I put you in favor of the bomb. There we go. There we go. How's it going, my friend? Did you... Did you still want to attack me, or are you done? Ooh. That's slow down. Okay. So, I don't... I never went here, because I was just like... Is it worth it to be here? Alright, who am I still attacking? I can't believe that guy stands... Stood still long enough for me to do that. 
Was there any point of us being here except for maybe that? Fairies and magic. Okay. What do you got for me? Yowza! We meet again! What great playing as usual! Hooray, I did a trill on an ocarina. That's exciting. Do you hear more noises? I still hear more. There's dead dancing re-deads here. Huh. Weird. Okay. I just wanted to explore that because Scarecrow song resetting after every single time is kind of irritating. Okay, but we're almost done. All we gotta do is just get to the very top and, and we're good. Oh, that was weird. You didn't pull out your thing all the way. Oh, what? You jerk! Hey, asshole! I'm wearing the Golkita hat. Here, let's do this. Yeah! Oh, sweet vengeance. Oh, my little friend. Okay, so this one's kind of weird because we actually need to physically get up right here. And I'm curious. I'm curious since we have a little bit of time. What is that? Oh, don't think I didn't see you, jerk. Okay, what is up there? There's supposed to be, hmm, some strangeness. Also, there's a finger pointing towards the sky. It's kind of weird. Okay, can I do the song there again? Oh, this might be the one. This might be the one. <laughs> I just decided to go with it because I'm sick of playing my super complicated song. Okay, so there is another scarecrow. What will you provide for us, my good friend? Things? More fairies? Hearts? The ones that I earned? The ones that I deserve? There's just lots of just nonsensical things here. We don't need any of this. Ouch. Of course, I had to open my stupid mouth. Huh. Interesting. What is up here, though? Huh. He's pointing to the... He's the finger of God. Alright. Yeah, we're pretty much on the road to heaven right now, it feels like. Okay. So... Let's go ahead, climb back on this. Huh, interesting. I've never really bothered using the Scarecrow stuff here because it's just pointless, right? Am I the only one in assuming that is correct? Um, we've got ourselves lovely uh, Owl here. Mr. Owl friend, how's it going? I would like to save my progress, please. Thank you. And I still hear more of them. More re-deads. Okay. Keys. Stupid Big Bad, where are you? Now I'm just curious. There has to be more. Anyway, let's start off this. This is a little different, I believe. Everything is in a weird spot now. Huh. There we go. Yeah, this is kind of... I don't know why they make us play through the Allergy of Emptiness. It's weird. Okay. So that's going to be trying to get through that way, and also that's going to reset. So let's try Mr. Goron right here on three. There we go. There we go. Okay, this should be right. It's it's in a really kind of easy order to remember. The very first set of three, it's one, two, three. The second set of three is two, one, three. Or as we saw last time, it clearly does not matter. And then in the... In this one, it's while you're facing the actual tower, it's 231, so I hope it is at least. Is it? Yes, it is, see? Because it just barely does that. I think this is easier than the N64 version because it's not very difficult to figure out. I guess additional audio sync, I don't know. But with all of our dead soldiers here, um, oh, I guess I just need to stand on it. That's why the cutscenes were freaking out, because my thing hadn't fully materialized yet. Uh, that will apparently phase through two rocks. Did a great job here. Quality control of Nintendo of America. Uh, we've got ourselves the entrance to Stone Tower now available to us. Like, look at this. If you saw this in real life, what would your expression, like, what would even, what would be going through your mind? It's, it looks so cool. I don't know. It's just harkening back to Shadow of the Colossus, which, shoot, I still need to edit, fin finish editing one of the episodes I plan on putting up. Uh, I should probably do that right after this instead of recording this, but ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and next time we will be entering this place where, you know, this very lovely place, Jewel, will be in our way, and I hope you enjoyed it. Next time you see me, things might not be the same for this project, so... Come with me in uncertainty into the stone tower, and we'll face this together, all right? I don't know why I said that, but it's probably not going to be that much different, just lots of storytelling. <laughs> Hope to see you guys then.